What's up guys? Today I wanted to talk about guitar picks. So people have been using the same guitar picks for such a long time. Most everyone's been happy with um, giant manufacturers like Fender and Dunlop who make these picks. You've all seen these around. These are pretty common guitar picks that a lot of people have been satisfied with. In the last five years or so, there's been a giant resurgence in, um, I'd call them boutique guitar picks, maybe. Uh, Blue Chip is a company that's been around for much longer than that, but recently we've had other companies like Gravity Picks, Stone, uh, Hoofschmidt guitar picks that have popped up within five or ten years. These are guitar picks that can cost anywhere from $20 and going all the way up to as much as $50 for a single guitar pick. And a lot of people might say this is kind of crazy, but if you really enjoy playing guitar, this is something that people spend money on. So obviously guitar picks can affect your tone a lot. We've got stuff like the material that the guitar pick is made of, the thickness of it, and the shape of the tip of it also. These can all affect the tone. Now obviously other things can affect your tone, like where your hand is, uh, amp settings, pedal settings, even the guitar volume, how loud that is set at. These all affect your tones a lot, so I'm gonna do my best to play at the same exact spot and playing clean with just a little bit of reverb on the neck pick up the whole time, and I'm gonna play a classical etude for you. So quickly here, I'm gonna run through the picks that I'm using. I've got 14 different ones here, and I've kinda organized them in an order that makes sense. Uh, for example, I'll be putting like a wooden pick with the same shape as a plastic pick next to each other. I'll be putting a metal pick with the same shape as the, another plastic pick next to each other. The stone picks next to each other with different tips, so you can hear the differences there. And I'll just run through these real fast. First, I'll be using the Dunlop 205. This is my own personal pick uh, that I use. This is a fairly cheap, it's pretty thick, rounded edges here, and um, a pointed tip, nylon material. Next, we've got the Jim Dunlop Jazz 3 pick, a very common one, so I'll play those back to back. After that, we've got the Cool Picks. Um, this is another nylon pick just like the Jazz 3, feels the same, except it's got a grip on it, it's a little bit bigger. The tip is pretty much the same though. And then we've got the Dunlop Stubby. This is using a material called Lexan. Uh, you can see through it, it's a very nice pick also. Pretty sharp tip, relatively thin, but it doesn't bend at all. All right, after that, I'm going to the bonus pick. This is a Canadian quarter. Um, there are a few players out there that use, uh, they just use coins, so this is rigid sides just like uh, someone like Brian May from Queen would use and I'll compare that up next to an Alice pick this is stainless steel pretty thin pick it's uh, it's only 0.3 millimeters but does not bend at all all right after that is the same shape of the tip pick this is a wooden pick after that is your standard Dunlop Tortex pretty simple another pretty common one that you've seen already the fender medium then after that, we've got another plastic pick. This is a gravity pick though. This is one of their unfinished models. Um, it just means the edges are a bit sharper than would be on a finished one. And this is made from an acrylic. This is a gravity pick. This is $5 each, I believe. Um, after that, I've got this really awesome bone pick that I kind of saved for recordings. Um, this is great because it's got a nice little indent for your thumb on one side and then a slanted indent on the other side for your finger that goes on the back. Um, this doesn't work with my hand on my, because I'm using my left hand right now. It's built for right-handed players. They also make left-handed ones. Also on the tip, it is pre-rounded, so this is kind of hard to see. But on the edge that you hit the guitar strings with, it's rounded over. And then it's straight on the next edge. I'm not sure the company of that one. Uh, this one is made by Stone Picks. It's actually made out of stone. This is a they called their Jazz 3 model. Obviously, it's the same shape as the, the Jazz 3, but it's a lot thicker. It's got, it's got a nice rounded edge with a pointed tip. That has a nice sound to it I really like. And then this is also by the same company, Stone Picks. I think they changed their spelling now, so it's S-T-O-H-N. Um, anyway, same company. So not much of a tip to this one. It's just rounded over, but this gives an interesting sound as well. And then I'll compare it to something with a similar tip. This is the Dunlop 204. And then I'll finally finish it up with a 205. Same one that I used to begin with. So I'll be playing everything through my PRS core model McCarty. This is a 2009 model with 5708 pickups. I'm just using a bit of um, light room delay on my Strymon pedal into the Supro here. This is the 1622 RT amp. 
and it's being mic'd with a Sennheiser 609 and this AT2020. And then we're going into Logic here through a Focusrite interface. Let's get playing. Thank you guys for watching. If this video has helped you at all, make sure you leave a like down there, maybe subscribe as well. Um, I do these videos a lot and I'd love to hear from you. What did you think about the guitar picks? What was your favorite one? I'll be leaving links to all the manufacturers that I've listed here in the description. So if you're interested, check that out. I'm not getting paid by anybody. I just do these videos for fun. But yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of picks you're using um, and what you thought of the ones I used. Thanks for watching.